welcome to my channel if you're new so for today's video as you can see i am going to be doing a primark haul now this little spree that i took yesterday was really really spontaneous and i wasn't planning on spending anything i literally went into primark to kind of wait for my sister and a boyfriend while they were shopping around themselves and i ended up spending over 100 pounds which was just I wasn't ready for it, let's be honest, but I know that I'm going to make the most out of all of these things here because it's something I have a massive lack of in my wardrobe, and that is casual wear. I wear a lot of, you know, really out there clothing. I have stripy trousers, glitter, literally every trend you can imagine is in my wardrobe, but I don't have a lot of comfy casuals. And one of the main reasons for this is because when I was younger, every time I wore jogging bottoms, I used to get called like thunder thighs and all the other names to go along with having bigger thighs. And that was one of the main reasons why I didn't like wearing joggers and another reason why I didn't like going to PE because I had to wear joggers. That was the only kind of sportswear that, you know, back in the day was kind of like available. So yeah, through insecurities growing up with my legs, I have just basically worn such tight fitting, suffocating clothes sometimes. And even just going to the shops to get food has always been a big effort for me. I cannot just go and wear some comfy clothes in my wardrobe. I kind of have to go with a whole look and vibe. So I have altogether picked up three bags worth of clothes from Primark. Now I have had a week off from work this week and I've had a massive kind of clear out of my wardrobe. It is a new decade. It's a new time for new clothes and to stop kind of caring what people say hopefully this is the start of something new this year and i am so ready for it i cannot wait if you guys know me i'm not a big brand lover i just love my basic go-to shops like primark h&m new look things like that i don't really go for the whole jd branded top shop kind of thing that's just not me i might go in there and find something every now and again and there probably are a few pieces that are a bit more pricey in my wardrobe but as it stands primark new look and h&m really so i'm not sure what you guys are going to think of these i don't even know what i think of these but they are a gray kind of beige shoe and i know they're really trendy in the branded version my sister actually owns a pair of these like an adidas one um but these ones were three pounds for a pair of trainers originally they said they were so originally they were 14 pounds reduced to seven and as they were run through the teal three pounds so i just thought a go-to shoe as i'm driving as i'm just kind of going from place to place during the day when i'm off work perfect so following the trainers i've picked up this gray kind of like tie string sweatshirt here this one was 10 pounds i love the color of this i love the button in there it's got a hood i love how casual this is as well and you know it's just something that i just don't have like a casual wearing jumper top kind of thing it's crop length as you can see and it ties in at the waist here i love the color i love the fit and i just love how cozy it looks already so next up i have these great jogging bottoms here they are cuffed at the bottom which is just so so comfortable and cute jogging bottoms are just super fashionable they have been in fashion for so long and i can see why they're just comfortable and they can just go with everything i love the way people just dress them up and dress them down and they're just so versatile and i just love that about them these ones were eight pounds with no fancy writing or no kind of brand or anything happy days so another comfortable outfit i've decided to pick up is this one here so we've got this brown beigey kind of nude jumper this one was five pounds which is an absolute bargain and i just absolutely love this color so much i have so much of this in my wardrobe i just cannot get enough of it and to go with the sweatshirt i also picked up a pair of brownie beige jogging bottoms they are i hope they're the same color i think they are these ones again were five pounds so for an outfit ten pounds with those shoes that i shared at the beginning another pair of shoes which i picked up are these cream military boots these ones were 16 pounds reduced to seven which is such a good bargain i am so obsessed with these they're so cute and again they just match with everything i picked up in this haul and you know the rest of the stuff that i have in my wardrobe as well they kind of like ice skates on camera i love them i absolutely love the color of these they're so cute so pretty so i cannot wait to wear these with the jogging bottoms tucked in you know a nice casual jumper or printed t-shirt i think this is going to look so nice and casual and again just really effortless so moving on to another pair of shoes which i picked up for a bargain these ones again were labeled as seven pounds as they swiped them through the teal they were three pounds which you cannot go wrong by for a pair of shoes 
just absolutely amazing. I love bargains and I love sales so much. I literally spend most of my money on kind of half price sold items. Not gonna lie, that's how I have so much stuff. I just love a bargain, who doesn't? Exact same as the other ones, other than the fact that these are more of a lighter cream color. Again, they're not branded, so don't bully me for that. So moving on to another pair of jogging bottoms here. These ones were £10 and as you can see they're like a dark grey, moral kind of colour, is that the word? And I absolutely love these. They're cuffed at the bottom. They kind of look like denim, which I absolutely love. So kind of like a jegging but jogger jean kind of thing. Is that the same thing? I don't know. I don't know if there's a name for it, let me know if there is, but these look so comfortable and I honestly cannot wait to wear these. The only kind of detailing other than the colour itself with these joggers are this kind of like pattern here, but that's pretty much it. I can literally just chill on these and I just love that about them. So yeah, £10 for a pair of joggers, again, can't complain. So next up we have a five pack pair of socks and these ones were £2.50. We've got mustard, pinks and greys kind of you know all mixed up into here and the reason why I picked these up is because a lot of my socks that I have at the moment are ankle socks. I don't have any pairs of socks that go past my ankle. I think the only ones that I do have are kind of like fluffy bed socks or like slipper socks. So these are something that I've been needing for a while especially in the winter. My ankles get so cold and it's been so cold here in the UK lately. Um, so I feel like I just needed those. Moving on to this next item here. This one is quite similar to the grey sweatshirt that I've shown you at the beginning. We've got the buttoning along the front. We've also got a pocket on this one which the other one doesn't have. I love the pattern going on with this. I absolutely love the colours, the nudes and browns again. My favourite, I'm obsessed. Again we've got this tie up cropped kind of fit here which I think is going to be really really cool. This one was £12 and yeah I just feel like it's just such a vintage old school kind of vibe and I'm just obsessed with it. So as you can clearly see I bought a lot of the clothes in the same section and I was kind of torn between a lot of the colours and I decided to go for the grey one of this and then also get the khaki green one which you can see here. Um, this one again was £10, it's just the same one as the other one but just a different colour really. Again we've got a hood on the back it's cropped length and then we've got this tie string in the middle to kind of cinch your waist in and just make it really casual really so that is my second bag emptied now on to my third and final bag here so the first item in my third bag is a pack of pads cotton pads these ones are 50p for a pack of 120 which compared to boots and asda and places like that is so much more affordable and every time i go in primark i always pick up a pack because i know that if I end up going to Boots, I'm going to be spending a lot more for them. So whilst I'm there, I might as well get them. And the reason why I buy these is just to remove my makeup with, apply creams with and moisturisers and stuff like that if I don't want to use my hands. So that's the reason why I buy them. Another pair of shoes which I picked up. My God, I'm going to have to buy a whole new wardrobe to fit all the stuff in because it's just not looking good. These ones were £7 and they reduced to 3 They are a beige kind of fake converse kind of shoe and again I just thought this would be just perfect to wear with my jogging bottoms that I've picked up and kind of fit with the theme as well. Another pair of jogging bottoms which I picked up again for £10. These are again exact same as the grey ones just a pink nudier kind of colour. We've got the same pattern down a the leg there. They are cuffed at the bottom as well. Super stretchy, super comfortable. I just thought I'd pick these up in a pink shade just because then I have like a different colour of everything and then with my wardrobe again I can kind of mix and match different pieces and I just thought well, at the moment I've been wearing a lot of pinks and nudes so I just thought I'd go for that kind of colour as well for the bottoms. Moving on to this next one here, this one is a, a crossbody bum bag which I'm going to be honest I wasn't a fan of years ago but I'm kind of really really obsessed with them now and just adds a little bit of uncasualness to a casual outfit and for £6 cannot really go wrong. This next item here I picked up for £6 it is a gorgeous knitted really casual stretchy comfy t-shirt you can tuck it in with a pair of jogging bottoms and a belt you can wear it as jeans you can wear it many ways it's quite versatile like that and I just love how stretchy and comfy and cozy this one is again just kind of like a basic t-shirt to have in your wardrobe so that's the reason why I picked this one up and again love the colour as well just fits in perfectly with everything else that I picked up and then the last two pieces which I have to share with you guys are for holiday so if you guys don't know I am planning on going to America this year and we're going to be staying there for 10 days which is going to be amazing so we are going to Orlando and I just thought a nice swimsuit would just be perfect this one is the secret slimming swimsuit and this one was eight pounds I love the khaki green color to this and 
and I love the stripes. I bet you in a few months time these will be all sold out and you wouldn't find anything there. So that's the reason why I picked it up now because I know if I put it back and I go back to get it sort of in a few months time, I know for a fact it won't be there. So I just thought whilst I was there, I just get it because at least I've done it, it's out of the way. And then to go with that, I decided to pick up this green kaftan. This one was five pounds and I was meaning to get one of these last year, but again, I didn't, I was gonna go back and get it, but then they were all sold out in my size. So I managed to get it this time. This one is five pounds and I just thought this would go really nicely together. So when I'm just kind of going from pool to hotel to the bar and stuff like that, I just, yeah, I really like this. So cannot wait to wear that on my holiday this year. So that is everything which I picked up for my Primark haul today. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comment section down below which one of these items were your favourite. And, you know, if you are quite guilty as well of going into Primark to kind of just have a little browse and end up coming out with bags full like me, let me know in the comment section below as well if that is you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new here so you get to see more of me in the future. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.